With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, in this question is given that if E and F are independent event, okay, then which of the following are also independent? Okay, four options are given, we need to check each and every option. Okay, it is given that E and F are independent event. So how we can say E and F are independent event? If probability of E intersection F, okay, it is equals to probability of E multiplied with probability of F, okay. If this condition is there, so we can say that these are independent event here, okay. Now we need to check each and every option here, okay. First option we have got here, E and means this symbol, okay, F. Okay, we need to check whether this is independent event or not. So, this will be given equals to, okay. So, since we are having complement of E and complement of F, so this whole can be written as P, okay, E in place of intersection L right union F and whole complement, okay. Because if I will remove this complement, so it will be inter E complement, intersection will be there in place of union and F complement. Okay, now solve this further. So, whole whole complement it will be given by 1 minus that value. So, P E union F. Okay. Now, we know that formula of e, e union F it will be equal to 1 minus. Okay, it will be P E plus P F. Okay, minus P intersection F. We know this formula. Okay. Now, let's simplify this furthermore. 1 minus P E. Here, it will be minus P F. And here it will be minus minus plus okay p intersection f so p intersection f can be written as p e multiply with p f here because p and e and f are mutually it is given that it they are independent event okay now let's just solve this further okay so if i'll take something common from here so what i i can get one minus p e okay one minus p e and other factor will will be one minus p f here okay these will be the two factor which will be formed here okay so let's simplify this further 1 minus p e okay it is separated from 1 so it means probability of e complement okay in product i am having similarly probability of f complement and this side what we are having e complement intersection f complement now since we are represent to able this form in form of this value here okay like we have given E and F here, okay? So, it means that they are mutually independent also, okay? So, it means that they are also independent. Now, come to second point, E and F complement, okay? So, second part here, E and means intersection, F complement means this. So, let's write this value here, okay? So, this can be represented as P, E, okay? E intersection, F complement means it should not include F value, so, P E minus P intersection F, okay, this is the representation, okay, let's solve this further, P E minus, this can be written as P E and P F because E and F are independent event. Now, if I'll take P E common here, so it will be 1 minus P F left, okay, 1 minus P F, so here I'll write P E and 1 minus P F can be written as P F complement here because it is subtracted from 1 and here, in this side we are having E intersection F complement okay now again we are able to represent this form e intersection F dash in form of PE and PF dash so again it is independent third part F and F complement okay third part F complement and F so it will be equals to let's solve this further okay similarly like we did for previous one so it will be here we are having F intersection F dash means it should not have F value so it can be written as P F minus P F intersection F. Okay, since both the values are F and we should not include F. So, that's why I have subtracted here. Okay, just similar way like we did for second part here. Okay, so this can be written as here. I'll write P F minus this can be written as P F and P F here. Okay, now if I'll take P F common from here. So, here I'll get 1 minus P F here. Okay, so this will be P F here. Okay. And 1 minus PF is PF complement. And this said what we are having? PF complement intersection. So again, this can be represented like this. So it means that it is also independent event. And fourth is none of these. So it means that all the three are 
इंडिपेंडेंट इवेंट है थैंक यू फॉर क्लास सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ आई टी जी एंड नीट लेवल ट्रस्टेड बाई मोर देन फाइव करोड़ स्टूडेंट्स डाउनलोड डाउट एंड आफ्टर डे